Welcome back to Sister Circle <laughs> Live. Our next guest simply asked the question, shall we wine? Of course we shall. <laughs> Please welcome back to the show, founder of the wine tasting company, Shall We Wine, Miss Regine Roussel. <laughs> wow, I like that. I've never heard my name said like that. Isn't that cute? I'm trying to sound refined <laughs> like yeah, you. Roussel. Well, yeah. thank you for having me. It's, it's Roussel, but I like Roussel. It sounds so French. <laughs> so French Canadian or something. <laughs> well, welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you so okay. much. So we're going to start with the fact that you are a small yay, which is one of the, it's the best job in the whole entire world, if you ask me, except for being a co-host on the <laughs> Sister Circle Live. So uh, explain to people what you do and what a small yay actually is. Okay, so a small yay traditionally works in a restaurant mm -hmm. and they create a uh, wine list for the restaurant. I use my education to start a tasting company. Mm. So I am all about wine and spirits, promotion and education. Oh. That's what I get to do every day, all day. I'm about <laughs> receiving that education. <laughs> but let's start tasting. Yes. So today you have some spring food and wine pairings, but please explain the significance of proper stemware, yes. which glass goes with what, and why. Okay, perfect. So we're going to start off with champagne, because <laughs> every morning should start with champagne. Yes, now you might be shocked that I have poured the champagne in a white wine glass, mm -hmm. right? Uh, traditionally, we are using a flute, flute. right? Mm -hmm. But the new trend with sommeliers is to actually use a white wine glass, because you can aerate the, the wine, and you can smell it better than when you have it in a flute. So I'm a big mm. fan of champagne in a white wine glass. Well, I've never really heard of oxygenating like a champagne like that, though. That's really amazing. Yeah, so you're opening it up. Yes, you're opening it yes. up. Yes. Exactly. Me, okay, but this one is a couche. This is, is like a yes, couche. I love this wine. So this is Vincent Couche Champagne. And we're also going to talk about food and wine pairing, mm -hmm. okay? And all the food today comes from Blue Lagoon here in Atlanta. Nice, nice. And I paired it with a crab and fish cake. Mm -hmm. Yumminess. Mm -hmm. Light okay. and fluffy. But one yes. more question. This, yeah, is made, this particular champagne is made with a Pinot Noir grape. Uh -huh. And you don't really see that colorization in there too much. So tell us how that's done. Okay, so champagne is Pinot Noir, Chardonnay, and Pinot Meunier, mm -hmm. okay? Now, sometimes you see on a bottle, it says Blanc de Noir, which means black from white. white. Okay, mm -hmm. or what, Blanc de Noir, Noir, white from black. So basically, you can take a red grape mm -hmm. and make a white wine. Mm. So that is not uncommon. What? Look at that. So, so let me ask you. <laughs> so do they use more of the flesh and less of the, the outside of the tannin part so, of it? So what, how does that work? It's just less skin contact. Mm -hmm. Yep. So mm -hmm. that's why you look at you, girl. <laughs> Okay, yes, so I'm yes. going to taste it with this, yes. little, with this fish cake real quick. In so this, in this. here's a tip for your audience at home. Champagne goes with anything fried, okay? So fr uh, f uh, fried chicken, french fries, potato chips with champagne, because oh. champagne has nice acidity, it's fresh, and it cleans. Mm. Let's move on to the Riesling. Yes. Okay. I love Riesling. Me too. All right, <laughs> so... People think that Riesling is sweet, okay? Mm -hmm. But this is a dry style Riesling okay. out of Washington State. Now, I paired it with the um, whole red snapper and Creole sauce. Here's the thing, mm -hmm. when you hear Creole sauce, you think spicy, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So I want something to correct the spice, so the fruit in the Riesling mm -hmm. is gonna balance off the spice in the fish. Okay. Right? Mm -hmm. Hello? Well, let me ask you a question. Don't, uh, so I'm using just I, eat. Okay, <laughs> but I'm just gonna, one, yeah. one real quick one. Yes. Now, what's the difference in like a Riesling, a nice Riesling, and uh -huh. a Gewurztraminer? Two different grapes. Mm -hmm. Two different grapes. Um, Gewurztraminer has a rose a petal taste to it. Um, Riesling has a little bit of uh, petrol and some lime. So it's just two very different grapes, two different wines. This is great with the spice. I know it is. That's what they pay everybody. Big bucks. <laughs> So we have one more thing to sample. So, yes. so what, what's, what's a Debreve? Debreve is a wine um, it's from Longevity. Mm -hmm. uh, it's named after his wife. This is actually an African-American winemaker. Very nice, very Philip nice. Long. Uh, it's gorgeous. So this is a blend of uh, Syrah, Mouvedre, um, mm, yes. and Petite Syrah. It's really, really so beautiful. So it's a true blend. It is a true blend. Okay, it so we're going gonna, gonna, to try this with some oxtail, one of my favorite things. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. oh, here they come. Oh. Here they come. Oh, here they come. Do you have any extras? I do. Always enough to share. Thank you. 
Thank you. Yeah. So there are forks there for everybody. Mm, this yes. is mine, this I believe. This smells um, like fruity, too. Oh, yeah, I'm going to be honest. I'm so going to pick it up my finger. I'm just going to pick it up. That this is, works really well with the oxtail. The sauce in the oxtail is super flavorful. Oh God, so I wanted so to have a wine that's going to balance it out, that's going to hold up to all the flavors mm. in the oxtail. Mm -hmm. Oh, my mm -hmm. goodness. Yes. Mm -hmm. The spice with this. Mm -hmm. Perfection. Mm -hmm. Perfection. Is this fish? It yeah. is. So this is a red snapper and a Creole sauce. Just oh get God. in there. We're eating family it's, it's style. It's delicious. Family style. This is paired extremely well. This oh, is, wow. Tell, tell me why, because this has a, a sweet note to it. So it's not, it's the fruit. It okay. really, you got Syrah, you got Grenache, you got Mouvet. It's not sweet, but it's got some really good fruit. Mm. Uh, a bit of and, or something, yeah, something in there. Yep, absolutely. A little bit of chocolate in there also. Yep. Yeah. And so all the glasses are from Riedel. Okay. And then the white wine glass, this is their Riesling Zinfandel glass. Mm. And then that is their Cabernet Merlot glass. Mm. This big fan of Riedel stemware. Mm. So, so tell, tell us your favorite spring wine. Yes. Come on, that's not fair. I love them all, but if I had to choose, <laughs> I do love champagne. Yes. I do love champagne. Yes. My kind of yeah. I, I, I can't help myself. Like, yes. I, I wake up every morning, I have a glass. No, I'm just playing. No, <laughs> it's fine. Wait, it's your business if you do. I have, I have one more question. I love your question. Can you ever use the wrong stemware? If you're enjoying wine, I say no. Use what makes you happy. Mm -hmm. But there is a difference, mm -hmm. okay? This glass is designed in order for me to get the flavors and the want. nose yes. of the Riesling and the Zinfandel. Mm. Yep. It's very thin. Mm. Uh -huh. Does that play a role in making these glasses? Because I know sometimes you can buy a glass at a store and it's very thick. Mm -hmm. right? yeah. no, these are handmade. So yes, these are handmade glasses. Mm -hmm. Yes, mm -hmm. good. Well, we wish you can keep you long as we can eat, drink, and be merry and yes. learn a lot more anywhere. about wine. But guess what? <laughs> She's going to share it with us another time when she gets back. Mm -hmm. Hello. But just today, you can find more of her tips like these if you follow her at Regine Rousseau. Team on Rousseau. Instagram. Yes. <laughs> Regine Team Rousseau yes. on Instagram. And guess what? We'll be right back yes. with some dirty fingers. Yes. 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 Yes.